cow burps, they're rough on the environment. Cows, as a matter of fact, release a lot of gas, as cows do, and that gas is warming the planet. So researchers in New England are trying out a brand new diet plan to give cows and all of us a little relief. Here's CNBC's Diana Olick. On a research farm at the University of New Hampshire, scientists are feeding cows seaweed in an attempt to reduce the amount of methane they produce. How much methane actually comes from cows? About 25% of methane are produced directly uh, from fermentation uh, by the cows. Okay, so that's burping and farting together. Both, Both. but okay. about 95% is burping. All that gas is contributing to global heating. Despite their best efforts to try to find ways to reduce that sort of carbon hoofprint, there's lots more that can be improved in terms of changing cow's diet. We think that seaweed can be part of that solution. There are 250 species of seaweed in the Gulf of Maine, and many also grow on the West Coast as well as in Europe. So it's a giant repository for us to look for other potential solutions. After receiving a $5 million charitable grant over the summer for the first study, Bigelow Labs was just granted $10 million from the USDA for further research into seaweed feed. While the purpose of the study was to reduce methane emissions, they had to be very careful that the seaweed didn't affect milk production because that's what makes these cows valuable to the market. Farmers get paid based on milk, butter fat and milk protein, so all go is to reduce methane, but at the same time not reducing those milk components. Researchers say they think the seaweed may actually improve that performance because reducing all that burping and farting allows the cows to use that energy instead for milk and beef production. We think this is a great market opportunity for dairy production that's also a major commodity for the state. Not to mention a breath of fresh air for the planet. For the news, I'm Diana Olick in Durham, New Hampshire.